Welcome back to another episode of Nick and Matt. Good morning, Health Nuts. Happy, what's today? Thursday. And today, Matt and I are actually heading to, uh, what is it? I keep I kept saying Guelph, but we're actually going to Cambridge. Um, so pretty far from Toronto. I think it's about, I'm meeting Matt um, in Mississauga, and then we're going to, um, oh, my phone's going off. And then we're going to Cambridge. So it's about an hour away from there. And we are going to look at some, uh, we're going to like a wood shop. So a viewer of mine, Madison from Leewood uh, Company, Leewood Co. on Instagram. I'll link them down below. Basically, Madison reached out a few months ago and she's a fellow viewer and she uh, wanted to make something custom for us. Um, but what we really want are some food photography boards because it's really hard to get uh, nice food, food photography boards and they make like the most beautiful custom wood things. I'm probably not using the proper terminology but they make like custom furniture they use reclaimed um like wood and materials like they have these like marble desktops or like tabletops used from like the bemo the marble bemo building at king and bay like they used recycled marble from that so beautiful stuff and uh so today we're so they're actually their shop storefront is located in hamilton but today we're actually going to the the wood workshop which is in Cambridge so we're gonna go check out there we're meeting uh, Craig I believe and he's gonna show us around and hopefully we'll get some cool stuff or just kind of have a conversation back and forth of what we're looking for and um, yeah I'm really excited because my photography game is about to get lit I don't even talk like that I don't know why I said that but anyways so yeah we have another meeting after that and then we're coming back to the city and we're meeting a friend for some ramen for dinner and sorry Chloe because she's gonna be editing this she loves ramen so I'm sorry we're going without you um but yeah it's gonna be a good day I'm going to I have to like leave in about five minutes to go cr uh, catch my train and then um let's go meet up with Mr. Matt shall we currently obsessed with these earmuffs. I can't hear anything when I have them on, but they keep my ears really warm. So sometimes what I do, I feel funny wearing these right now. Sometimes what I do, if I know I'm gonna like go on a train or something uh, and I don't wanna use Wi-Fi, I'll just like go to my um, podcast and I'll download something so I can listen to after. So mm, let's see, I think I'm still listening to this one. All right, I'm gonna listen to some uh, beauty in the vlog here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I love podcasts. They honestly make any road trip or transit go by really fast. Okay, so I have that. I'm gonna get my shoes on. Water. This is what I look like. Look like a bag lady. <laughs> Bye. Oh, unlocking the door helps. pick me up but he's still stuck in a meeting so I'm just gonna walk over to him because I need my steps so uh, any excuse I can to like do some extra walking since I work from home I always take it so I can go meet him and get some fresh air it's actually not too bad now it's always colder by our place because we live right by the lake so we always get that nice nice wind off the lake but right now it's not too bad so hopefully it stays this way all right, so I'm in the car with Mr. Matt here. Driving as always. I stole him from work and uh, ended up being freezing. I lied. As soon as I, I went around the corner from the uh, the GO train, I was like, holy crap. It was so cold. Um, but yeah, so we are about an hour away from Cambridge. So I just called um, Craig, who we're meeting, uh, to let him know we're going to be a little late because Matt, uh, Matt's meeting ran a bit late. So yeah. And Matt, I ate lunch before, and so I would be hangry. Oh, good. And I brought snacks. That's 
good. I brought some mandarins. I brought set. our X bar. We are all set. I know. Uh, okay, so we will uh, see you guys when we get there. Hopefully, we don't get lost. Uh -huh. Something new. Tell me something I already know about you. You sort of let them know. Happens every time. <laughs> could be something old, could be something new. I just want to know something new about you. I just want to know something new about you. New about you. I just want to know something. We found it. So we're just parking and then we're gonna go inside and meet Craig. Excited Matt. Matt secretly wishes he was like a like a wood shop worker, right? I do. I do. One day he can make cabinets for our kitchen. Yeah, maybe when I retire. Oh. <laughs> Thought I had him park. We almost ran into a parked brick wall. Okay, so we're at the Leewood Co. Is it Co or Company? What do you guys well, think? I, well, same thing, whatever Co? you want to okay. say. I don't care. This is Craig. Hello. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to talk, so I said all he has to say is hello. Uh, but we're at the wood shop right now in Cambridge, and uh, we're just talking about some uh, possible food photography boards. And yeah, they have some really cool, maybe, Matt, do you want to show like those? Those are really sure. cool. So Craig is just going to get some of the concrete board samples and possibly marble chunks for us to look at. But guys, he was telling us like the whole process of, like you basically can't just chop down wood and make it into furniture. It has to like sit outside, go in the calm, and like all this stuff. But even, does it smell like a cottage in here? So yeah, I love this gray one. But this is just naturally colored like that. That's so cool. It was probably painted in then with the sun, I'm sure. It. Yeah, you're right. It could have been painted. But like, you know, these are barnwood too, but like not, not the same kind of color. Um, it's so like cool, these. guys. We will link all their information in the info box down below. If you want any custom stuff, they honestly are experts. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. She just asked me to even like stain the concrete and color it up. We put a dye in the concrete yeah. while we're mixing it. Oh, you guys make the concrete. So we finished our first meeting at the Leewood Co. Wor uh, wood Workshop. It was so cool to see all the different wood pieces that they have, the whole process, what goes into actual like custom wood furniture. And uh, I mean, Matt was like just drooling the whole time because he wishes like that was his side hobby. Mm -hmm. And one day, Matt, when you're retired, you can learn about woodworking. And no I'm kidding, but you know, maybe. Um, so yeah, it was just really cool to uh, to meet uh, Craig and kind of see what they do behind the scenes and how things come together. And they can basically do anything and everything, he said. So I need to like create a Pinterest board and start thinking of what kind of food photography backdrops I want. Uh, Cause I, like it's been long overdue guys. The ones I use are just ones I got from like Home Depot that I stained myself and they just, I don't know, I think. It's time to step like, it up. Time yeah, I feel like my food photography game has gotten better, but like the back, backdrops and stuff are kind of like meh. So I'm really excited to hopefully upgrade. So now we're gonna go to this small little cafe in Cambridge to meet uh, my friend Andrea. She's a fellow Health Nut viewer and uh, we are meeting up with her. This is our second meet up with her, but we might be bringing her on to the Health Nut team to help out with the, some stuff that we're working on, which is really exciting. One thing I learned about as a entrepreneur is get help when you need it. Like don't try to do everything yourself. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go meet her and uh, we'll see if she'll come on the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. That's the little spot there, and we're just trying to find parking because this is like a little main street, so we have to figure out if there's like parking behind the building. Maybe we passed it, but we have some extra time because uh, Andrea is uh, not going to be here for a few minutes. So we just got to the coffee shop. It's so cute. Check out the aesthetic. And I got this like apple beet tea. It's like pink. So cute. And they steamed it with some soy milk. And then Matt and I were a little naughty and we were splitting an apple crumble cake that they warmed up. I'll show you. So we are just splitting it in half. And this is a her they have like a great selection of herbal teas here. So good, Matt. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my god. Look at them. So good, so highly recommend Creme Cafe in Cambridge. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is Andrea, and we just, uh, we we're just, we twinsies with our, we got the pink purple tea. Pink yeah, purple tea. it's called Amazing Almond Tea. It's really good. And uh, yeah, we're just chatting about some work stuff. We were thinking of bringing Andrea onto the health net team for some projects. And uh, yeah, this is, I was saying that this is a really cute spot. So. Yeah, it is. It's my first time. And like you knew the owner. Oh, I turned down and I know. She walks in, she's like, oh, hi. She like, knows everyone. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to get her on the vlog, you know. <laughs> now there's proof that we met up with her. All right, so we're back home. We just went for ramen with uh, my friend Megan, who's moving to Japan. So it was sort of uh, like a loop. Just took goodbye her out for a goodbye dinner. dinner. We had some Japanese ramen, which is fitting. So cool. She's going to Japan. Uh, it's delicious. We've shown. Is that why you chose that spot? Well, yeah. You just want an excuse for ramen. I do like ramen, but we I've told her about this place for like a year. Never gone with her, so mm -hmm. so we went. Delicious. Now we're back home. It's like maybe 11. So tired. Yeah. Time for All like that salt and that little... ramen makes me tired. Yeah. So time for a little, little bit of a cool down, a little bit of work, maybe some friends, and then bedtime. We're actually just about to review. Oh, that's a horrible. Oh my God. We're going to review a video. Tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's... Which we've already been up by, this time, by the time this goes up. Yeah. We're still last minute that we're doing it the night before. I know. But we'll review that and it's just magical. What a magical day. It was good fun. Lots of fun. Yeah, it's good. It's funny because in the in the vlog, oh. that, there's ramen. So that shows how often we go. I like, know. We went twice in two weeks. I know. Oops. So like we go, we go a bit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, question of the day. Question of the day. Uh, well, I guess since my friend's moving to another country, I would say the question of the day is if you could move or live in another country for like one where, year yeah for a year where would it be like if you were just like yeah like we moved to Australia for a couple of years so I mean if you could move anywhere else in the world to try it out and see what it's like where would it be comment down below comment and leave somewhere. some avocado emojis that's it <laughs> okay enough of this bye guys bye ciao Good thumbs night. up Thumbs and, up, subscribe, good night. Yeah, I'm not good at these these ending things, but like, it's okay. yeah, I was told I had to. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Brr. Some people change, and others stay the same. Some people spend their lives looking for something. You can